hey, how's it going? So, do you just see this bag right over here? Do you think that I got a Chipotle burrito? Do you think I got a burrito bowl? The answer is no. The only thing that I got from Chipotle was this. This is, I don't know how many ounces this is. <laughs> this is freaking heavy. This is probably like, I don't know. But this was like five twenty-nine. dollars Next time, I'm going to get half of that, which will last me four days straight. I mean, this is too much. But uh, it's pretty cool, though, because it will last me the whole week. And I don't know. I'll give it, I'll just, I'll allow myself to eat it for like, you know, maybe three days. So it'll be Sunday, which is tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. And then after the three days, I'm going to buy some more Pico. Okay? So I'm making, drumroll please, my own Chipotle bowl. And it's going to be a lot cheaper. So all of this right here, um, you know, this is just has nothing to do with the Chipotle um, bowl. But it probably was like $30. And this is going to last me the whole week. All right. So we got here brown rice. Okay, and what am I gonna do with the brown rice? It's gonna be, oh, I forgot to get it. <laughs> Hold on, all right. There it is. It's, all right, so it's cilantro, okay? So it's rice, brown rice, cilantro, and lime with uh, coconut oil, okay? So I'm gonna make the rice, I'm gonna cook it with the cilantro, and then like, you know, when the, when it's ready, I'm going to uh, put some lemon on there and put some coconut oil, mix up a little bit, like a tablespoon. And that's exactly, it tastes like chipotle rice, okay? So, what do you do after that? You lay it on with beans, black beans, organic. And I could make it even way cheaper by getting some black beans, soaking it for 24 hours, cooking it, and I probably will do that next time, okay? All right, now, a very important thing. They have corn. So I'm going to, you know, this is gonna be in the freezer. I mean, this is gonna be in the refrigerator. So it's going to, right now it's frozen, but then it's gonna be, you know, unfrozen. <laughs> okay, then when you go to Chipotle, what is important that you put on it? You gotta have your avocado. Now this is gonna be generous avocado. Um, these are like not ripe right now, so these are gonna stay in the bag for probably like a week before like, you know, they're gonna be good. Now these are good right here, these are smaller. But um, yeah, I might just use, you know, eat two of these. Yeah. But the, the, the key is that I have some, oh no, I hope I, I need to find it, but it's, it's in here somewhere. It's the um, packet, the guacamole packet. So I, you know, make it a guacamole. Okay, what do we have right here? We have some salsa. This is gonna last for sure a week, if not more, okay? And then we have the pico, which I told you was five, but it could be a lot cheaper. You know, cut that in half. And that literally would, like even half of this would last the whole week. Although I wouldn't want to do that because I'd rather just like get half and then get the other half. Um, but I'm telling you, Pico, like making sure you have good Pico is what makes, you know, the Chipotle bowl. But I will say this, like if you try to make Chipotle, uh, if you try to make Pico on your own, it's a lot more expensive, you know, cause you gotta get all these things. Like you gotta get jalapenos, you gotta get garlic powder. Um, tomatoes are expensive. You know red onion it's just like it, and then it's very tedious and it takes a long time and you got to get lime and all this stuff I'm telling you this is cheaper and it's fresh and I hope I didn't lose my guacamole packets I don't know where they went I'm gonna have to look hopefully you know what I probably have it in the refrigerator let me see um, oh yes I found it okay so these things, they work awesome, you know what I mean? Like, these really add flavor to the guacamole, you know? So, that's the classic, classic 
and mild. This is different. So we'll see which one I like better. I'll try the mild first. And um, that's it. And I got all these beans right here, right here. Sorry, my kitchen's kind of messy. Um, I got these at Costco a while back, so I haven't eaten these. So this is gonna be day one, day two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be for five days straight. I have still some more brown rice. I'm probably gonna cook this brown rice up, sprouted brown rice. Got this. I mean, this is gonna last a long time. I mean, this is gonna last even longer than a week. And the thing that was mostly expensive in my grocery, uh, you know, list was this. This was five dollars. And what else did I get too? Either way, y'all, this is exciting because it's so it's so much cheaper. I mean, literally, this would be like twenty five dollars, twenty five dollars, and it will last a full week. And then, like you know, I have my smoothies or whatever, and smoothies can be really cheap too. Um, you just have to do it right. And the main thing is with smoothies. You gotta like put the greens in the freezer and then just have one juice I mean this juice right here even though it's five dollars it can last me like four days because it says four servings so you know when it when I do the smoothies I just put just enough juice you know just like a cup and uh, yeah you can keep it simple so the thing that I'm doing is the green and the bean <laughs> You know, and then the guacamole, it really adds, like, it's very satiate, sati oh my gosh, I can't say that word, satiating, satiating. Um, it's going to, like, you know, definitely curb your hunger. Because if you're just eating beans and rice or whatever, you're not going to get full. But if you eat, like, some guacamole, you know, and then you have, like, a huge green drink in the morning, make sure you have, like, a pound of greens, then you're going to be freaking good. You know, so I'm just trying to save money. I do have these right here for little snacks. These are called large bars. Um, they're a dollar a piece, but they're so good. I mean, this is like better than eating cookies or cupcakes or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you my grocery haul. I'm excited because I'm going to be doing Chipotle this whole week. I don't even really get bored of food that much, you know. I mean, like, I, I get bored if it's like leftovers and stuff like that. But if I'm eating the same thing, I don't ever, you know, get bored. I used to do that like a long time ago. I used to eat at Subway every day, and it was like always the same thing. I would get the roasted chicken breast, you know, I'd always make it the same, and like literally it was like the same for breakfast. I'd have the same breakfast, same lunch, same dinner, and I'd freaking never get bored because I just like simplicity, you know what I mean? Like I just like to not have to worry about what am I going to eat or whatever like that, and I'm still, you know, I can still salivate over this, but at the same time, this is going to be a lot cheaper than even if I went to Subway because, I mean, if I did Subway every day... Okay, so if I did Subway every day, there's no such thing as it being $5 anymore. It used to be $5, like the $5 foot long, but like literally it'd be $7 a day. So it'd be like about $42. And this, like I told you, is like $25. So, and, and this is a lot healthier. It's a lot cleaner. But then, you know, the smoothie. I want to like calculate how much the smoothie costs per week. So for like seven days straight, five, ten. Okay, look, I'm gonna add this up. Okay, so like you know, I don't have to do this. This is a lot more expensive. But if I got like you know one fruit and I put the fruit like one you know orange in there, that would be like seventy nine cents or actually probably more now, but probably like. I don't even know like how much fruit costs <laughs> um but then yeah then there's a frozen fruit which is supposed to last a whole week and that's usually like you know twelve dollars and then like the greens depending on what you get it's like a dollar forty nine per bundle which you know per bundle is a pound of greens so if you get like a whole bundle of kale the way they sell it that's a whole pound and, um, you know, like if you're going to get spinach, you know, it's a lot lighter. Um, usually like a third of that huge big bin would be like a pound, I think. Y'all, I don't know. Um, okay, so then there's that. So it'd be like one fruit, which would be like 70 cents. Yeah, I mean, it is about 70 cents. Like, you know, probably less than that too for fruit. Um, you know, you just put one in there to give it like the juice. 
Um, you can get like a huge thing. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Anyway, y'all take care. I've talked my ears off. All right. Bye.